Absolutely, I do. Coming up next, the Vatican sends James Woods in search of the undead in John Carpenter's Vampire. Nest inside this place. Figure on at least six goons, maybe more. And chances are we'll find a master in here somewhere. James Woods leads a team of vampire slayers in the exciting new picture from the director of the horror classic, Halloween, who has so many admirers of that film and its success that he now gets his name in the title of the pictures he makes. So this one is technically called John Carpenter's Vampires. And it's so exciting, it should only enhance his reputation as a horror director. Of course, it helps to have James Woods on your team when you want to make a high-energy movie as the vampire hunter faces off against a vampire master, the evil Valak, who controls on nests of bloodsuckers. For 600 years, I fed on your kind and well. The story is actually a good one. Both Valak and the James Wood character are trying to get their hands on a wooden cross used in an uncompleted ceremony that could give vampires the ability to remain powerful even in the sunlight of daytime. See the spiral pattern? Yeah. If you time sequence all the encounters, you get a logarithmic pattern, ever widening. It's a search pattern, Padre. They're looking for something. Do you know what it is? I heard stories when I was young. Something about a black cross. The other key reason this picture works so well is that there isn't a single teenager in the cast. It's not juvenile in any way. All of the vampires and their hunters are portrayed by adult actors who play the situation seriously. So, no haunted high schools, no giggling, no drinking beer in the cars, no skinny dipping in the local lake. All this helps make John Carpenter's Vampires a rousing entertainment. It is properly rated R for rough language and scenes of intense bloody violence and dismemberment but i enjoyed it within that context and give it thumbs up i'm not giving it a thumbs up although i share your delight that it's not another teeny bopper movie right. i mean I, I, getting so tired really of teenage sure. vampires but on the other hand this intriguing idea which is that the church has given up on holy water and crucifixes and priests and prayer and just hires mercenaries now to winch these guys out into the sunlight and machine gun them and watch them go up in flames that could have, I think, been dealt with a little bit more instead of just being the window dressing in a movie that is essentially just a shooting gallery in which you get, you know, one scene after another of vampires uh, and uh, their hunters uh, being uh, hacked to pieces, shot and uh, well, dismembered they, and so forth. In interesting ways. For example, we haven't seen <laughs> self-immolation uh, lately. I don't think this year, have we? I, when they get out in the is daylight... Is this a job for adults? Two I, of oh, us please. deciding how long has it been since we've seen... Self-immolation in the movies. Uh, uh, you know, they all look like they have Roman candles in their pockets. Somebody did a little research, I guess, uh, and they found some new gimmicks, and, and it works. Plus, you've got James Wood spouting off. Well, he jacks up this picture so that it never lags. I'm not giving a thumbs up. I'll concede that it could be considered in some circles as a guilty pleasure. Oh, he's getting close yeah, to but, agreeing with uh, me. That means in two years you'll come around to my opinion. We will, we will see in two years. Okay, our next...